Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fallout 4. Uh, with this episode, I'm going to go and do the Fort Strong quest. In the last episode, I just sort of got uh, into the Brotherhood. Like, accepted into the Brotherhood, I became a knight. Got this impressive suit of power armor. And, uh, yeah. So just gonna go and do the Fort Strong mission. Get a few uh, decent little bits of, like... Uh, what was it called? Fat Man? You know, like mini nukes. And, uh, after that, I should be equipped well enough to take on the castle. With all the Maya lurks and whatever. So, yeah, let's get started, shall we? I see these kind of like cool moments when you're flying in the vertebrate. It's just a pity they don't happen all that often. So it's like, yeah, I suppose I should get off, but then part of me is like, I don't want to. Not until I take out these guys, anyway. Was that it? All right. Too many folks these days count on violence to solve their problems. Okay, nick whatever I can from the bodies. What does that mean? Skull face split. I'll grab it just in case I can use it. Uh, right. I think I'm going to need a much more impressive gun. I think. Uh, Okay, double barrel shotgun works, I guess. Uh, where did I... Have I been... Have I passed the behemoth? I don't think I have. 
I'm sure he went down in this area though. Because I took out all these guys. I'm sure the behemoth went down somewhere around here. Oh well. Can't seem to find the body. Unless that was the behemoth back there. Yeah, unless that was the behemoth back there that I searched through and up close he doesn't look that big, but somehow looks massive from the vertebrate. Alright. Yep, meat bags and everything. Took off its arm. I didn't just take it off either. That that exploded. All right, bottle cap. That, that. Uh, I don't really need another rifle. Ooh, Molotov. Wow, these super mutants go through a lot. You've leveled up. All right, grab all this. Okay, I want to get local leader, but I'm not sure where that is.
Hey. Boom. So I can build that marketplace now back in Sanctuary. Well, sort of. I still need another level to uh, this one. But I can't get I can't get this until I'm level 20. So, yeah. Doesn't matter, does it? 590 rounds. Jeez. Alright, let's go. Okay, so if I can just like fully upgrade this rifle, I should be set for a good long while. Considering I've got like nearly 600 rounds of this gun. Like, for this gun. Okay, where am I going? Ooh! Ah. Oh. That's empty. Uh, bottle cap. Bottle cap. Because for some reason, even before the war, they were... Stockpiling bottle caps. Mutant hound, but I can't see where it's just there. It is. Uh, done the health thing of it. Uh, inventory aid. Where is stim packs? Stim packs. Oh yeah. Alright, so that's a few down. Got what what two more left? I uh, know one one of them has a rocket launcher, that guy. I take it back. I said like I got like 600 rounds. I should be fine. Yeah, that was that was me just w overestimating this by a lot. Like I've already gone through like what, like 400 rounds.
Was that it? Are we done? So yeah, I haven't seen the armory yet though, I'm sure there's a- there we go. Uh, I haven't actually got a launcher yet though, uh, but meh. Okay, so that must be like, what, that's like the nuclear core? Or is it like the tip of the rocket? I'm guessing that's the bottom. Uh, this must be just the shell. Okay, backwards we go. That was easy. Let's say easy. I went through about four or five stim packs trying to do it, but easy ish. Look at this place. Oh, there it is. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? Hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Armageddon? How could synths bring about our destruction? If the synths reached the point where they outnumbered mankind, how long would it take for them to decide we were no longer necessary? They certainly possess the capability to make more of their own kind, so we'd become expendable. And with Institute technology on their side, nothing could stop them. Not even the Brotherhood. It's a nightmare scenario almost too terrible to contemplate. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Okay. There's a wealth of technology just waiting to be discussed. So, this isn't... Is this? Yeah, this is the... I was gonna say, this is like the elevator we came out of. Except I found out there was a different elevator. That just sort of... Cut the journey in half, like some games do that. I would have been so pissed. Okay, so... We'll, I'll head up back to... The Predwin. Go talk to Maxon, and then... In the next episode, I'll probably call it a day then. And then the next episode... I will either take the castle or make a start on the railroad. I haven't quite decided yet. At least you can fast travel to it, I suppose. That's a good thing. Because like with most games, they were just sort of... Well, some games, I just imagine they would just sort of let make you go through the airport to get up to it. 
but it's kind of fun. You can just just find the nice then. You can fast travel straight to it. Though it is weird that it's classed as a settlement. I don't know why that is. Because you can't do anything with it. You can't. Yeah. You can't build anything. Just tried holding down the touchpad now to see if that little build menu pops up, but it doesn't. So no idea why that is. All right, let's go see Maxon. Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. What happens at Fort Strong now? Paladin Dance is supervising the transfer of the Fat Man warheads to the Prudent. They'll provide quite an edge to our arsenal. I've also ordered a detachment to occupy the location and use it as a staging area to protect the eastern side of the airport. All in all, you handed us quite a valuable location. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Where can I get more signal grenades? I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly. These devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you should acquire them from Proctor Teagan. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the Synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Where do I start? I want you to get out there, and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met. So I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Any suggestions where I should look next? Your meeting with Dr. Amari seemed fairly telling. If the Institute has the capability to teleport its synths, then we're in for quite a fight. There must be a way to tap into the teleport signal, and your mysterious lead in the glowing sea could provide us with the answer. If you need any assistance mitigating the radiation in that godforsaken location, speak to Proctor Teagan. I'm certain he'd be willing to help. Okay. Could those mysterious energy readings Paladin Dance's recon team detected be related to teleportation? The level of technology that the Institute possesses is far beyond our own. So we're not certain. However, that would explain why the readings are so random and short-lived. I'll have our scribes focus on improving our scanning techniques to learn more. Anything else you wanted to ask, Knight? Aren't there any pre-war records about the Institute that might help us? Our records indicate that the Institute was born from the remnants of a pre-war educational facility. The Commonwealth Institute of Technology. The ruins of the facility are at the center of the city, but we've already searched them thoroughly. The location appears to have been abandoned long ago, so it appears that the trail ends there. Anything else, Knight? No questions, that's pretty much it. Not right now, Elder. Very well then. Dismissed. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Brotherhood for now. I think I'll call this video to an end here. Because in the next one I'm going to be focusing on another group in the wasteland to sort of... You know, ingratiate myself with. Thank you all for watching. It means a lot. Uh... If you could be so kind as to leave a like, maybe hit that comment section, and if you're feeling up to it, hit that subscribe button. It, uh, just to keep up to date with this walkthrough and all the other walkthroughs that I'm doing. 
and feel free to check out any of the other walkthroughs I've done so far. Uh, there's a few, like, new games on there, blah blah blah. You know, you know the gist of my channel. If you can't guess already. Games! Anyway, that's all for now. So until next time, you take care.